Hi, welcome to this video looking at year rate indices from the White Rose Maths website. So this is aimed at predominantly for Key Stage 3 students, but it may be appropriate for Year 7, Year 9 and even Year 10 students as well, okay, and students in Year 11. Okay, as ever guys, please feel free to pause the video, try the questions, so attempt all the questions first, and then press play when you're ready, okay? This is question number one, simplify the expressions, okay, 6y squared plus 4y squared, so combining that, I get 10y squared, okay, because 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Okay, next one, 7r cubed plus r cubed minus 3r cubed, well 7r cubed plus 1r cubed is 8r cubed, subtract 3r cubed is 5r cubed. Okay, next question, 7g squared plus 7g cubed minus 5g cubed plus 2g squared, well combining all of the g squared terms together, so 7g squared plus 2g squared is 9g squared, and 7g cubed subtract, okay, 5g cubed is equal to plus 2 g cubed okay or i can write it as 2g cubed plus 9g squared either way is fine okay and applicable okay for any yeah um answer to like an exam style question question number two write these as as a single term 4c times 4d well 4 times 4 is 16 c times d i write as cd Okay, or DC. Okay, 16 DC or 16 CD. Okay, next one, 3H cubed times 2H squared. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. H cubed times H squared. Well, the laws of indices state that if I multiply with the same base, I just add the powers. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So h cubed times h squared is h to the power of 3 plus 2, which is h to the power of 5. So it's 6h to the power of 5. Question number 3, guys. Complete the boxes to make each identity correct. 5c times 4c is equivalent to, well, 5 times 4 is 20, and c times c is c squared, okay, or c to the power of 2, okay, if you imagine that as c to the power of 1 times c to the power of 1, I would just add the powers, 1 plus 1 is 2, okay, so that's a little way, yeah, if you're not sure on where the c squared came from, but if something is squared or raised to the power of 2, it just means multiply by itself once, okay, so c times c, okay, is written as c squared or c to the power of 2. Next one, 4m times something m to the 4 is, is equivalent to 36m to the something. Well, 4 times what is 36? 4 times 9 is 36. m times m to the 4 is m to the 5. Because if you imagine that as m to the power of 1, 1 plus 4 is 5. Question number four, each of these identities are incorrect, write a corrected version for each one, a to the eight times a to the four, that's not a to the 32 because I don't times the powers, I add the powers if it's the same base, so eight plus four is 12 guys. Next one, seven to the nine divided by seven to the four, well it's not one to the five, it has got a power of 5 there, but it's 7 to the 5 and not 1 to the 5. Okay, I'm not doing 7 divided by 7. I keep that number the same. Okay, so when I'm dividing and it's the same base, I subtract the powers, but I keep the number or letter the same. Okay, so I don't do 7 divided by 7. I'm doing 7 to the power of 9 divided by 7 to the power of 4. I keep the same and then I just subtract the powers, okay, next one, v to the 9 divided by v cubed is not 
v cubed is v to the 6 because 9 take away 3 is 6 okay you subtract the powers if you're dividing with the same index okay so with the same letter okay and if i'm dividing i subtract the powers this is question number five. Explain why it is not possible to simplify four to the six times three to the four because they have what we call different bases. Okay, so the base number is different. Okay, so we say different base numbers. Okay, differ rent should be an E there, then N, then T. So different base value or base number okay i can only combine it if i have the same base or the same base number or base value we say okay if it was three to the six times that then yes or it's four to the six times four to the four then yes okay this is question number six, guys. Match each expression to its simplified form. Well, 18fg divided by 3f is just 6g because 18 divided by 3 is 6. The f's, they cancel. Okay, so I'll just get left with just 6g. Now, this one, I've got to be a bit careful. So, simplifying the top, I get 54 f g squared but then i'm dividing it by 6 g squared so i'm going to get 9 f okay because the g squared they cancel okay with that okay and what i can do is divide top and bottom by three essentially so i get a one there and i get a two there 18 f divided by two is just 9 f okay because everything else is becomes a one okay and if you times by one my answer doesn't change and if you divide by one my answer doesn't change okay last one okay it is going to be this one but let's just double check okay 18 times six okay well if i just divide top and bottom by three to make the sum a bit easier so that becomes a one that becomes a two 18 times two is 36 f squared g times g becomes 36 f squared g squared i'm dividing it by g squared so that's going to cancel okay so i'm just left with um 36 f squared Okay, this is question number seven. Show that 3x to the power of 5 all cubed is equivalent to 27x to the 15. It's got a capital H there because it's for like higher tier students or high achieving students. Okay, so if I write this out, guys, a cubed means times by itself, okay, twice. So 3x to the 5 times 3x to the 5 times 3x to the 5 okay if you cube something you are multiplying it okay three times okay now if i do three times three times three i get 27 if i do x to the 5 times x to the 5 times x to the 5 well the rules of indices state that if it's the same base which it clearly is because it's got x's then i just add the powers 5 plus 5 is 10 plus the 5 is 15 so the answer is 27 x to the 15 okay as required or as shown okay remember that power of 3 means that i cube it okay for that one okay question number eight guys fill in the boxes so that each expression is equivalent to 4a when simplified well 12a divided by 3 is 4a 28a to the 8 divided by 7 it should be 7a to the 7 okay because a to the power of 8 divided by a to the power of 7 becomes a to the power of 1 okay remember that i've got the invisible one there okay that's not obviously shown okay this one's a bit more trickier expanding the bracket i get 6a plus 13 okay but i want 4a so i'm going to subtract 4a and i'm going to subtract 13 
okay so i've got to be a bit a bit careful my signs here so i'm timesing it by sorry should be a two a there not a four a so subtracting 2a, 6a, take away 2a is 4a, 30 take away 30 is 0. So it's two lots of a plus 15. And the reason why it's a plus here, because if I now expand this bracket, I get minus 2a minus 30, which is what I want. Okay, And that does indeed simplify to 4a. Okay, if you collect your like terms. So collect all your A's together and collect all your numbers together. Okay, last question guys for today's video. 8A to the 6 times something divided by 6A to the 15 is equivalent to 4A. Well, if I just work backwards, so if, if I times both sides by 6A to the 15, actually, to make the sum a bit easier. So I get 8A to the 6 times something which I don't know yet that's equivalent to 24 a to the 16 okay if I multiply both sides of my identity by 6 a to the 15 now it's a bit easier 8 times 3 is 24 and it will become a to the power of 10 so my answer, guys, is 8a to the 6 times 3a to the power of 10. That's all divided by 6a to the 15, and I do indeed get 4a. 8, 3 is 24. 24 divided by 6 is 4. a to the 6 times a to the 10. Well, the rules of indices state that if I multiply, I add the powers if it's the same base. Clearly here, it's a to the power of something so it is the same base 6 plus 10 is 16 divided by 15 so subtract 15 from 16 and i get a to the power of 1 okay or just a okay remember that a letter by itself guys is just same as saying one lot of that letter to the power of 1 okay it's got an invisible power of 1 there okay and lastly it's a bit off topic here but if you're ever asked what a number is to the power of zero okay anything to the power of zero guys is always one okay so that is like a random factor that might be worth noting down anything in maths to the power of zero is always equal to one okay if you're interested okay um so yeah it is like a little random factor so anything to the power of zero is always one a billion to the power of zero is one minus one to the power of zero is one Okay, negative 12 to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, um, elephant to the power of 0 is 1. Banana to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, anything to the power of 0 is always 1, guys. Okay, right guys, that's the end of today's short, sharp video looking at year rate indices. I sincerely hope you found it useful. If you did, please press like, please subscribe to the channel if you're new, and lastly, please click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads, okay, on this channel. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you for the next one. Okay, bye for now.